Good morning and welcome to the beautiful campus of Middle Tennessee State University. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in giving a warm MTSU, Middle Tennessee State University, Rutherford County, City of Murfreesboro, State of Tennessee, the United States of America, welcome to Madam Schuling for her speech today. Dear faculty and students, great universities like MTSU and great leaders like President Max B are preparing graduates like you to enter a global marketplace of ideas and commerce that recognize that there is much to be learned by studying other cultures. Consider this, some of you may find yourselves vying for jobs in Asia, Europe, and elsewhere around the globe. Or some of you may find yourselves working for companies that have a deep global cooperation with the markets in all of the world. The setting for the next chapter in your life could like President McVie. In China, President McVie is famous. Here, I'd like to only share two stories with you, even just no pro uh, promos already interested. Uh, interested. First, President McVie has visited more than 20 provinces of China in the past 17 years. Yes, he has published a special book named China Through the Eyes of a University President. Many Chinese people, including university faculties and students, like this book very much because it not only reflects to development of China in the last 20 years through his photographs, but also shares his understand and friendship to China. Second, last December, President McPhee delivered an excellent speech at the annual Global Confucius Institute's conference, which has more than 2,500 delegates from the universities of 120 countries. He has got a big applause for more than 10 times so that the whole world knows him and remember MTSU. As a Director General of Hanban, I'm honored to work with the network of more than 440 Confucius Institutes in 122 countries and more than 660 Confucius classrooms reaching more than uh, 850,000 students across the world. Our mission is to promote culture exchanges in the areas served by these institutions. We provide a bridge for better understanding between China and the rest of the world. We support the teaching and the learning of Chinese language, the study of contemporary and modern China, and promote education, cooperation, and culture exchange. For example, we sponsored the overseas trip by MTSU's performance troupe which impressed Chinese audience with jazz, music, and modern dance. And we have brought similar tours of Chinese music and art to the MTSU campus and the, wide, and the wider 
community. Such activities help build friendship, foster mutual respect, and improve communi communication. At the end of March, First Lady Michelle Obama sparked spoke to the Chinese students at the Beijing University in talking about the importance of students studying abroad. She quoted an ancient, ancient Chinese saying, it is better to travel, travel 10,000 miles than to read 10,000 books. The Confucius Institute is uh, co committed to continue its support for American students to study in China. During the past three years, more than 20 MTSU students have received full scholarships to study at the Chinese universities for a year or even longer. Besides long-term scholarships, the Confucius Institute also sponsors short-term programs. During the last three years, 40 high school students from Middle Tennessee have participated in a summer camp in China. Two years ago, 20 primary school students from Middle Tennessee traveled to China and met with their new friends. Last year, 35 Chinese students visited MTSU and the families of the community. And later this uh, summer, we look forward to welcome another delegation of area school children and teachers to China for the next step of our culture exchange. Currently, we have set up 100 Confucius Institutes and more than 360 Confucius classrooms in the States. In the past five years, we have also invited nearly 10,000 American uh, educators and students to visit China. They have learned more about China and the Chinese culture through our programs. Many have developed a strong interest for China. Some found their jobs, some and some their expected life and beloved ones in China. Confucius Institute also serves as a bridge for Chinese educators and students to learn about American culture. At Hanbei, every year we send some 800 guest teachers to over five higher and primary education institutions and the Confucius Institute's spring, spreading in 40 states, serving more than 240,000 students. They teach Chinese language to American students and the communities. Their hard work is extensively welcomed. Confucius Institutes have built up more educational and cultural connections between the two countries and brought more understanding and closer relationship between the two peoples. Dear faculty, students, and families, today, the relation between China and the U.S. is most important to the development and the security of all of the world. Young generation of both countries have not only great responsibilities, but also great op opportunities. Here, I'd like to give you a simple suggestion. Please learn from President McPhee. Go to China work in China, and find the Chinese friends there, then you will double your world. China is the best place to help you will realize your dream.
Dear students, when you graduate from MTSU and enter into society, I'd like to share with you three sentences from the president of Fudan University of China when I graduated, which he quoted Dr. Hu Shi, who graduated from Columbia University and was a former president of Peking University in 1940s. I always remember the three sentences during the past 38 years. First, you should always find one or two questions which are worth of researching on so that it can push you always thinking and it will make your life valuable. Second, you should always develop some interesting hobbies which are not your major. In many cases, your success is not from your major but your hobby. Third, you should always be confident Everyone will have difficult, difficulties in life. Confidence is the light for moving forward. Finally, I'd like to share a song with all of you, which is a song by Presley, Tennessee Man. Only you. Only you. Can make this world seem right. Only you can make the darkness bright. I am true blue. Thank you very much. Would you like to prepare students for the future and carry on the legacy of your favorite teachers? Middle Tennessee State University education students explore proven instructional methods and discover innovative tools and approaches that are changing the way children learn. Our graduates' extensive student teaching experience makes them highly sought after by schools throughout the Southeast. This is just one community among many. Explore all that MTSU has to offer. Devoted to student success, Middle Tennessee State University. Science shapes our society. The products, technologies, and efforts of the sciences affect much of our everyday lives. And the more advances we make, the more the careers of tomorrow will rely on a strong education in the basic and applied sciences. At MTSU, you will learn from Tennessee's best faculty, along with hands-on training with the latest equipment and facilities. Come and learn the science of success. Being True Blue is giving your all on and off the court. My name is Ebony Rowe and I am True Blue. Being True Blue is embracing unique perspectives. My name is Iris Montes and I am True Blue. Being True Blue is helping students solve real world problems. My name is Cliff Ricketts and I am True Blue. Being True Blue is making the world a safer place. My name is Sam Willie, and I am True Blue. Ladies and gentlemen, join me in giving a great Blue Raider warm welcome to our own Lieutenant General William Phillips. Well, ladies and gentlemen, what an honor it is to be here with you this evening. Uh, President McVie, I thank you for your kind introduction, and thanks to all of you for your warm welcome. It's great to be home. Hua? This is where it all began for me about 38 years ago. I am honored to speak to you on this very special occasion, 
already know what you're thinking. It is in the minds of every graduation of every student across the United States. How long is this guy going to talk? <laughs> so my wife is right over there. She reminded me yesterday, and George Burns said it best. The secret of a good speech is to have a good beginning and a good ending, and to have the two as close together as possible. I will do my best. I want to recognize President McVie again. Sir, thanks for your great leadership of the best university in the United States of America. Hook. I also want to recognize Madam Shu, who's not here this afternoon, but I know spoke this morning, my new friend. I want to mention Andrew Oppelman also for uh, his great support to get me here, and Kim Edgar. Provost Bartell, Vice Presidents and Deans of the Middle Tennessee State University, elected officials, honored guests, family and friends, graduates of the class of 2014, mothers and fathers, and family members of our graduates. A special welcome and thank you for your great love and support. Today, you deserve a special recognition. Let me also recognize the faculty, administrators, and staff members for your contributions to this day. You have, had, you have imparted to this graduating class knowledge, skills, values, hopes, and expectations. You have done a fantastic job. Graduates, congratulations. You have done a spectacular job. And you deserve this wonderful day to celebrate this significant achievement. The class of 2014 is comprised of 2,303 graduates, 33 states, 21 countries. You symbolize the globalization of our society and how close we live together today and how important education is. To each graduate, you have been given a great gift, the gift of education. Well, to much that has been given, much is expected. These are tremendous challenges awaiting each and every one of you. Challenges such as energy, environment, poverty, and health of our citizens in the world, around the world, population growth, business ethics, our military and its role in the world, our military which is the greatest in the world today, and many other challenges. The expectation is that you will use this gift to help our nation, the world, meet these challenges, which are great. But with great challenges comes tremendous opportunity. Graduates, you are facing one of the most important decisions in your life, your career choice. My advice is to choose something that makes you happy, a career in which you use your talents and the gift of this great university that it has given you to build a better community, a better state, a better nation, and a better world. You have a solid foundation for which to begin. I'm proud to be a graduate of Middle Tennessee State University and the extraordinary Reserve Officer Training Corps. I am true blue. This university has always had a great ROTC program. There are at least 17 general officers who have graduated from MTSU. And I know that our president and this university are so proud of our ROTC program. Two of them are with me today, Max Haston, who already stood up earlier, and David Ogg, who's here also today. As I progressed in my military career, it was a strong foundation from MTSU that served me well. I've lived by the values that were ingrained in me at MTSU, which closely mirror our Army values. Let me mention a few. Respect. Treat people as they should be treated, with dignity and respect, while expecting others to do the same. Respect is what allows us to appreciate the best in other people. And self-respect is what is the ingredient which results in knowing you have put forth your best effort. Selfless service. Put the welfare of your institution, your community, and your nation before your own. Selfless service is highly valued by others. The basic building block of selfless service is a commitment to each other and to the team. At times, it requires great personal sacrifice. Integrity. Do what's right, legally, morally, and ethically. Integrity is a quality you develop by adhering to the highest principles, moral principles. I have witnessed people who have compromised their integrity. Once you lose it, you won't get it back. Guarding your integrity is job one. Nobody but you can do that. 
As your integrity grows, so does the trust others place in you. Trust is at the center of all relationships, whether it's personal or professional. Honor. Make honor a matter of daily living. Honor is carrying out, acting, and living your core values in everything you do. Honor is doing what is right. At times, this will take great personal courage on your part. Your values will guide you instinctively on doing what is right. There is a reason that our nation calls its highest military medal the Medal of Honor. There are two other important characteristics that I would like to share with you. The first is kindness. I encourage you to be kind to others. George Saunders, about a year ago, gave a commencement address, and he described the failure of kindness. His speech is a worthy read. Don't let the failures of kindness be one of those great regrets in your life when you look back 40 or 50 years from now. I will soon close out my 38-year career. I will forever remember the many letters and email that I received from people the last few months. So many letters describe my kindness and how in some way I had touched his or her life. I didn't always see myself as being kind, but others obviously did. Those letters touched my heart. So graduates, I ask you, who in your life do you remember most fondly and with the most, with the most undeniable feelings of warmth? You likely remember those who were kind to you in some way, who helped, listened to, and comforted you. How many lives will you touch with your kindness? I'm confident that there will be many. What is the most precious gift that you can give someone? Is it money? Is it diamonds? My wife is sitting over there with my two sisters. All of them like diamonds. But that's not the most precious gift that you can give someone. The most precious gift you can give is your time. When you give your time to others with great meaning, it will have an impact on them, and at the end of the day, it will have a tremendous impact on you and your life when you do give your time to others. I am deeply honored by this opportunity to address the class of 2014. I am truly humbled by the generosity of President McVie and this extraordinary institution and its leaders. I'm honored to receive an honorary doctorate degree today. I'm grateful for the extraordinary educational foundation that went well beyond the classroom, lessons in life that have served me so incredibly well. In a most powerful way, MTSU remains a key reason for my success in life. It will be yours as well. I'd like to leave you with one of my favorite quotes from a speech that Theodore Roosevelt gave in Paris in 1910. It is often referred to as the man in the arena. It is not the critic who counts, not the man who points out how the strong man stumbled or where the door of deeds could have done them better. The credit belongs to the man who is actually in the arena, whose face is marred by dust, and sweat, and blood, who strives valiantly, who errs, who comes up short again and again because there is no effort without error or shortcoming, but who does actually strive to do the deeds, who knows great enthusiasms, the great devotions, who spends himself in a worthy cause, who at best knows in the end of the triumph of high achievement, and who at worst, if he fails, at least fails while daring greatly, so that his place shall never be with those cold, timid souls who neither know, know victory or defeat. Congratulations, class of 2014. We honor you today at this great university in this historic arena. I personally have the greatest respect and admiration for each of you for this great accomplishment. I wish all of you the time of your life and tremendous kindness throughout your journey through life. Good luck and Godspeed. Thank you. My name is Andrew Willoughby. I am an aerospace major with a concentration in professional pilot. I did an honors thesis project on commercial pilot maneuvers and, and their importance. The most significant things that led me to continue in honors was the, the fact that I needed something to set me apart from everybody in the industry. I've talked to a few companies that come to our career fairs, and I know several companies said, you've done a thesis, we really want to see that. And so they're already interested in my work as uh, an honors student. 
At Middle Tennessee State University, we are devoted to student success. We offer the advantages of a major comprehensive university with the care and attention found at a small college. We are a community that believes in learning, growth, and service. We hold these values dear, and there's a simple phrase that conveys them. I am true blue. I am true blue. I am true blue. At Middle Tennessee State University, music majors receive a world-class education from a renowned faculty. Students experience first-chair instruction no matter their instrument. Our graduates go on to share their gifts on stages worldwide and instruct the next generation of musicians, never forgetting that they found their forte at Middle Tennessee. This is just one community among many. Explore all that MTSU has to offer. Devoted to student success, Middle Tennessee State University. Do you want to make a difference? Make an impact in your world? The College of Behavioral and Health Sciences is centered around service. We want you to get out of the classroom and learn by meeting the needs all around us. Make a difference at the College of Behavioral and Health Sciences at Middle Tennessee State University. Now for the presentation of the candidates and the conferring of the degrees. This morning's recipient of the Honorary Doctorate of Letters degree is the Madam Shulin. This afternoon's recipient of the Honorary Doctor of Letters degree is Lieutenant General William Phillips. On behalf of the faculty, the deans and I present 15 doctoral candidates, 342 candidates for the master's and 42 for the specialist degrees, 1,904 candidates for the bachelor's degree. We just learned that Jamie Staten, one of our MTSU Football players has just been selected in the NFL draft as we spoke in the fifth round with by the Seattle Seahawks. Congratulations. Finally, in recognition of your status as a degree recipient, graduates, please move your tassel from the right to the left side of your cap. Congratulations.